Bowman here from BW1.com. Going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to install the HTC Home plugin on your Verizon Wireless XV6800 smartphone. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests about this particular home plugin since some people saw it on my review. So, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to, how to install it. There's two different steps that you'll need, two different CAD files you need to install. So, let's begin. First, I have my device right here. And you'll need to go and actually add these two applications to your device you need to drag the cab files over I'm gonna supply those on um, files on my website so you'll be able to download them directly the first thing you'll need to install is the Kaiser HTC home plugin cab so just click here to install it it's gonna install locally on your device Hopefully you can see. Well, I know it's a little probably will be a little bit blurry. I'm trying to make it as dark as possible, the lighting good as possible, so you'll be able to see the screen. So we'll let that install. This can take a little bit of time depending on how many applications you have installed. Also, I want to point out that I'm doing this knowing that this is going to work for the Verizon Wireless XV6800. I'm not sure if it's going to work on a Sprint Mogul the same way. You might have to do a few different things for other versions of the uh, HTC Titan, Titan, which is this uh, particular model offered by um, HTC. installed. The next thing you'll want to install is the HTC HTC Home Customizer which is right here. You want to install that. That will allow you to, to make customizations on the application. You also want to install that directly on the device. Now both of those applications installed, you can just X all the way out to the front. You'll want to go to your start menu, you want to go to settings, you want to go to today, and you want to click down here at the items tab, and you'll see right here HTC Home. So you want to uncheck it, then check it again. Then when you and if you go to this next tab, HTC Home here, these are the different launches that allow you to, to put on. So we'll just put them all on for now. So we'll click OK, we'll click OK again, wait a few seconds here, and bam, there you go. This HTC Home Plugin. Now this is the one from the Kaiser, so it gives you a few different options here. So, so you got the big clock here, you got your messaging, you've got your email, your text messaging, and your missed phone calls. So next tab is your favorite contacts. Next tab is your weather report. You have to select the right city according to where you live. Next is um, your launcher, launch your favorite applications. And this one right here is for your um, sound profile. So if you want to put the phone on vibrate, you can do it really quickly. You want to put on no sound, you can do it really quickly. Now there is a music option here, so but you'll have to choose the right skin to do that. Now I just mentioned skin. So what do you mean by skin? So, you can actually go to HTC Home Customizer. It's gonna have to unpack it, finish it. It's a pretty big application. Not big, but it's a pretty hefty application. But you're really gonna love it once, once you learn how to use it. And 
there you go this is the HTC home customizer so this gives you different options for different appearances what type of background you have type of clock you can have type of icons type of weather dock that you can have weather icons I mean you can have and um, these are just the ones that come in stock but if you go to downloads here you can connect to the server and you can download a ton more different customizations so we'll just let it connect here it is going to show you the list so if there's backgrounds available you can download the backgrounds the clocks available I've downloaded most of these already from uh, the previous installation but if you haven't downloaded it will show it to you right here preview preview is pretty good because now you're able to go it just opens up a IE kind of background here and you can go to different backgrounds you click backgrounds and it'll actually populate which how the different ones look so they give you some examples you know 3D double double inside you have original you have some that are transparent completely you just click back here oh click the back button here at the very top so you can check out weather I can check out all your icons there this is where you can customize your launcher this is actually a little bit more advanced because now this will allow you not only to choose the applications but if there isn't an icon available from the icon pack that you can choose you can choose one yourself this is the different tabs you can have here and where you, where you have them located you can move them up move them down move them according to wherever you want them to be located this is the weather setup here. You can set it up within the HTC Home plugin, but you can also set it up here. You can auto, you can do auto weather updates. You can select the music manager. You can create a backup of your options, and that's the about page. So let's see here. Let's choose my city. Let's see if they have it listed here. I'll actually do that from the front since I can't find my city on the normal tab there. But let's change the appearance real quickly here. Let's just say, let's use uh, original semi transparent. And we'll change the clock. We'll change the icons, the iPhone. And we'll click save. Click save. It'll apply those changes accordingly. those because I did choose a bunch of different ones and then bam there you go total customization not the greatest look but you can definitely change around what you want on here so this is Bowman from BW1.com showing you how to install HTC home plugin